Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Today we're down in one of the collection spaces forward on Battleship New Jersey, and we've got uh, one of my favorite artifacts in the entire collection. This is a primer belt for one of the 16-inch gun crews. In fact, uh, it is stenciled C gun, so it's for the center gun. It doesn't say specifically which turret it is. It does make sense that if you're one of 80 members of a, a division in a certain turret, that uh, you wouldn't want somebody else to steal the good belt. Uh, especially since I always assumed that these sorts of things were standard issue and, and uh, general manufacture because there's a ton of uh, guns, especially bag guns, that require primers to fire, and so you would have primer belts like these. But uh, this looks like the sort of thing that was made on board in the ship's sail locker. And it's the same sort of canvas that is used for the awning. Um, it doesn't have any sort of machine tag on it. It's got the, uh, the sorts of grommets that you just punch a hole and then hammer in there. Um, and the attachment is, well, it's not the same as you would see on other World War II style belts, let's just say. Um, so, what is this? What is it used for? So, first of all, it's essentially a, a cartridge belt. The fact that it's made on board makes me question whether or not uh, these were actually standard issue, or if the guy just had a bunch of these in his pocket or something, uh, a bunch of primers in his pocket. So, it just laces on. And now, just like a cowboy, I've got all of my cartridges here. Now, what sort of cartridges are stored in here? This is a Mark 15 primer. Notice it slots perfectly in there, and uh, it's real easy for me to pull this out and load it. The Mark 15 is uh, an Army design primer. It shows up in Army manuals, but it seems like uh, it is used for Navy bag guns as well. It's bag guns. The five inch guns use a brass or, or sometimes steel or aluminum casing that uh, has all the propellant in it, it has a primer built into the base so that a firing pin can just strike that primer and fire it. The 16 inch guns, the powder for them is stored in silk bags. There isn't any sort of uh, ignition source there. So the breech of the gun has a hole in it for a primer like this to go into. One of the sailors in the 16 inch gun's job is to wear one of these belts or have a bunch of these in their pockets, I'm not sure what you do in the absence of one of these belts, and uh, stand in the gun pit below the gun. So the gun returns to five degrees for the loading angle, the gun captain drops the breech of the gun. At that point, the guy down here pulls the spent primer out from the last time it was fired, just drops it on the deck, apparently, because that's where we found this one in one of the gun pits, and then uh, pulls another one out of his belt, slides it in there. This primer can be ignited one of two ways, either by percussion, and notice that's how this one was fired. It's got a percussion cap in the bottom that uh, has a strike hole on it from where the, uh, the firing pin struck it. So you can fire it using the hammer that's built into the mushroom part of the gun. They'll hit the firing pin, they'll drive into this primer and then uh, cause the ignition. Or say you're firing from uh, main battery plot down inside the ship, you pull the triggers and it sends an electronic signal and that uh, signal is transferred through the casing of the gun into a, an element on the inside that heats up. It's basically an exposed wire. And when that heats up, it causes the 30 grains of black powder that's inside of this to burst out the end of this um, blank primer. And that fires into the gun into a black powder patch that's sewn into the back of the last 16 inch powder bag. And then that powder ignites and that's what sets off the nitrocellulose cordite that is the 660 pounds in the six bags there. So, and then all of that going off is what propels your shell out. So, um, this is essentially a 30 caliber blank. Here is a 30 caliber round. You notice they're very similar. This has the neck in it for where the bullet would be. 
This one does not, so it's very similar manufacturing. This one's got a wider rim for an extractor to pull it out. Uh, this one's rim is uh, indented there a little bit. The real difference is something that you guys can't see. It's the weight of these two rounds. This is practically weightless. This one's still pretty chunky. And uh, that is one so that it can transmit that electric charge into the uh, firing element inside without burning up. And two, when this goes off, it, it's what? I don't know, 30 grains of powder, 75 grains of powder. I don't quite know what a 30 caliber uh, round has. It, it's a very small amount of powder. When this goes off, there's 660 pounds of propellant exploding that is looking for the easiest escape. The idea is that the easiest escape is by pushing the shell out the muzzle of the gun and not blowing through the breech of the gun back into the gun house where the gun crew is. Uh, so this has to be strong enough to not be uh, blown apart, have the back ripped open when that uh, large charge is set off. And so it's a little bit heavier. The belt has slots for 27 primers in it and it's a, a really stiff material and, and it's easy to wear. I'm, I've got another belt on under this. Um, it's, it's comfortable to wear. As I'm pulling primers, it's relatively easy for me to just spin this around my body so that the primers I need, like as I have used all of these, I can bring the next ones I'm gonna grab right here or wherever it is easiest to draw them from. Uh, so unlike a cowboy pistol belt where John Wayne has to uh, find the what rounds he has left. This one is relatively easy to just whoop. There's some more right there. So uh, the primers are normally stored in their own magazine on board and They come in boxes. I want to say it's about 40 primers in a box I, I can't remember off the top of my head. But we're gonna post a link to the army manual that has these primers in them uh, I can't remember if I said it earlier in the video, but uh, these have XV one on the bottom. So that means that this is a Mark 15 primer mod one. Uh, and again, this was found in the gun pit on Battleship, New Jersey, uh, just laying on the deck. So we know that's the kind that they used on board. Um, and it's just a standard primer that can be used with any number of guns, it seems. So they, they come in boxes. Those boxes are stored in ammo cans. Uh, of the like green metal type that many of you guys might store your ammunition in. And uh, then those are all stacked somewhere. A certain number of these, they're relatively inert. Uh, a certain number of these could just be stored in the gun pit at all times. So you don't have to worry about going and getting them. Uh, off the top of my head, I think it's 40, but we're gonna flash the, the real number on the screen right now, uh, along with a, a picture of that instruction that's in the gun pit. Uh, and that's telling because that assumes how many rounds you're probably going to fire in a standard engagement. In longer engagements, you might send humpers out to go and hump ammunition back to the space. Um, but in a regular engagement, you're expected to have this many just hanging out there. And that's probably going to be in a box. Um, maybe if you have one of these types of gun belts laying around, um, they would already be stacked up in here. And this, interestingly, this can be rolled up relatively tightly. So uh, it might be that it's loaded and then stored in an ammo can or something like that. So it's not just loose sitting out there. A real interesting artifact that I always assumed was uh, just standard issue to the guns, but the fact that it looks like it was made on board. It doesn't have a manufacturer's mark on it. And we only have one in the collection. There aren't nine. Um, leads me to believe that maybe this wasn't standard at all. Maybe they just had the box down there and the guy would pull it out of the box every time, except for whatever gunslinger would have worn this. The other possibility is that um, there was a standard version of these belts, and because the battleships are still in service much longer than any other sort of ship with guns similar to this, uh, that those belts had deteriorated over time or been taken as souvenirs. Maybe that's why we've only got one in the collection instead of nine. Everybody else took theirs as a souvenir. Um, that may well be why. This may be 
what looks what clearly looks like a ship manufactured one because it's replacing one that had been deteriorated or lost and they couldn't find more in the supply inventory so they just made one uh, or again it, it might just be some cannon cocker out there decided that he wanted one and uh, went to the sail maker he, he might have been a sail maker himself the, those tend to be deck division guys and the deck division guys seem to be the same ones in the turret um, so this is a really, really cool artifact. Um, it is down here with a bunch of other objects in the collection that were found on board the ship, which leads me to believe that this was found on board. It could have been, the, the gun chief might have been like, all right, you two can take these as souvenirs. We have to leave one on the ship. So when she's reactivated, um, the next time they'll know what they're supposed to use. So, uh, I know there's a bunch of battleship sailors out there. Have any of you guys ever seen a belt like this? Or uh, you heavy cruiser sailors, you also had belt bag guns, except for the Des Moines guys. You guys are just weird uh, with your cased eight inch ammunition. Weird. Um, if you've ever seen something like this, let me know in the comment section down below. Were these common on Iowa class battleships in the 80s, in the 50s? Let us know, I'd love to do more research on this. Like I said, it, it's uh, one of my favorite objects in the collection. What do you think? If you guys were on the gun crew for Battleship New Jersey, would you rather have one of these cartridge belts or would you rather just have a box of them laying there in the, um, in the gun pit somewhere? Let us know in the comment section down below. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to donate to support the museum. You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find about us and our channel. Thanks for watching.